MCI will develop a digital enterprise blueprint to bring these efforts together in a comprehensive roadmap, which will chart the next bound effort for our digital economy. We will be consulting industry leaders, associations, companies, unions, and other stakeholders across different sectors. Their continued support and partnership will be crucial. We are committed to helping Singaporeans access exciting opportunities in the digital economy. Before I elaborate on our plans, let me address the points raised by Mr. Sharataha on the recent tech layoffs. As a major tech hub, Singapore has been impacted too, but we have fared much better than many parts of the world. Southeast Asia continues to be an important market for tech companies. These firms have long-term plans to scale up their presence here. And Singapore has done well to capture this growth, anchoring these companies and their higher value tech development and corporate functions here in Singapore. These roles are often considered core to the company's business and are more resilient to broad-based headcount rationalization. For example, the average rate of re-entry into employment of retrenched residents for the INC sector was higher than the overall economy. Seven in 10 retrenched locals in the INC sector were able to find another job within six months. Indeed, the INC sector is one of the fastest growing sectors in our economy. The sector's workforce has grown 36% from 130,000 professionals in 2017 to around 177,000 in 2022. Our, workforce, our local workforce in particular has increased by 42% within these past five years. In just the first three quarters of 2022, total employment in the sector grew by 13,700, with thousands of vacancies still available. The increasing digitalization across the economy has also contributed to healthy demand for tech manpower. Locals account for more than 70% of our overall tech jobs in Singapore, both in the tech sector sectors as well as the non-tech sectors. And these locals in tech jobs earn 65% above the national median wage with good wage growth. MOE's recent survey showed that IHL graduates from ICT courses have higher studying medium pay compared to their peers. We believe the long-term prospects for tech manpower, tech workforce remain strong and will continue to support Singaporeans in accessing these opportunities. But the tech space is a fast-moving one and there are many competitors to Singapore's tech hub status. We need to help our tech workforce stay competitive and relevant for the needs of tomorrow.